guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing one of probably the most hyped up, anticipated videos on my channel so far, which is how much money I have spent per month or in a month while I've been backpacking Europe. And if this is your first video, I have been backpacking all around Europe. So, so far I've been to six countries, Italy, Germany, France, Switzerland, Belgium, and the Netherlands. And it has been 30 days since I got here. So that is what I'm gonna be basing all my calculations off of. I'll show you guys exactly how much I spent on food versus stay versus activities, miscellaneous stuff, and let's break down everything. And let's get right into it. Okay, so before we start, I did want to say that before I came, I did an estimated budget, which I will put up here if you guys want to see that, of everything that I thought I would spend on food, on stay, on everything else, and that came out to, and if I'm looking over this way, it's because my laptop is over here, but it came out to $80 to $91 per day estimated, and that includes everything other than travel, which I bought separate, which if you see in that video, I spent around $700 for the flight, $700 for the year rail, so $1,400 total. But while I'm here, I expected to spend between $80 to $91 a day. So that was the estimated budget, and I did actually fall in that budget, surprisingly, because I did feel like some of the things were more expensive than I thought. But overall, and I'll put a screenshot of everything because I did make an Excel, like I said, but overall, I've spent a total of $2,418 in the past 30 days. Again, that's including absolutely everything, which if you break that down, that comes out to $83.41 a day. And I did divide that by 29 days because that's technically the amount of days that it was. Uh, when I calculated everything. So it comes out to $83 a day and I wanted to spend between $80 to $91 a day. So I am well in that budget. So like I said, $2,418 was what I spent total. Now let's break that number down into what exactly I bought and where my money actually was allocated. So again, I am going to put a screenshot up, but I did make a pie chart so that I could break down the percentage of everything. And in food total, I spent around $1,097. That comes out to 37, around $37 a day on food. So I did spend the majority of my money on food, which of course, that's what you're gonna spend the most of your money on because a lot of the activities I do are free and then the stay isn't gonna be that much as well. So that is how much I spent on food. Hotel total, that includes hostel, Airbnbs, basically just anywhere that I slept. I spent a total of $742, which if you divide that out, it comes out to around $25 per day, which we wanted to spend around 24 average. And this is something that really surprised me is that if you can see in my budget breakdown video, I thought we were going to be spending anywhere from 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19 dollars a day on stay. On average, pretty much for the most part, it's been 24, 25, 26. There's been a couple 30s in there and then a few obviously really cheap ones to average it out. But for an average of 25 dollars is a little bit more than we expected to stay on to spend on stay, but we have also stayed in some nicer places, like we stayed in the Botel, if you saw my last video, which was more expensive as opposed to the cheaper hostel options, so we have been doing a give and take, but still, we're still in that budget, so it's okay. Next is travel, and this is not something that I expected to have in my budget because I did pay for the URL, and when I initially bought the URL, I thought that it was all buses, all trains, all ferries, like 98% of everything at least. And that is not true, okay? If you were tra if you are traveling with the URL, keep in mind it is only intercity trains and some ferries and then long distance trains, of course. Uh, but it does not include buses and some cities that we have been in, the buses don't check and you could just sneak on, not that I've done that, but a lot of places, they are very strict, they check your tickets, there's conductors, and so I did end up spending a total of $98.50 for travel, which doesn't sound like a lot, but keep in mind, I did pay $700, around $700 for the URL, so that was an unexpected cost, but it only added a few dollars per day if you divide it out. Let's see, it's $3.40 per day. So it's not that much, but it is an extra cost that I did not think was gonna be added on. Next is activities, and this is again something that I didn't expect to spend as much money on, but again, we're still within the budget, guys, so I think I'm doing pretty good, but 
In total, I spent around $352 on activities, which is around $12 a day. But again, there were some days that we did all free things. So we went to free museums, free parks, free city tours, things like that. And then there were some days where we spent a lot of money on activities, like for shows in Amsterdam, we spent quite a lot. For drinking days, if you're going out, we spent quite a lot. So some days I would spend $80, and then some days I would spend zero. And so kind of the average of that has been quite cheap so I'm really happy with the amount of activities that we've done. I think that we have a really good balance of free stuff and paid stuff that is more exciting or cooler I guess because obviously if you're paying for something the quality increases oftentimes. but I think that's a pretty good budget in the past month for just activities. Lastly, I did have a miscellaneous category and that's just anything that we did not expect that didn't fall into any of those other categories. For example, I did end up checking in my bag whenever we did fly here and I didn't mean to do that, but when I got to the to the hotel. When I got to the airport, it just seemed like much more of a hassle and we were taking three planes and I just thought if one airline doesn't want to let me on with the bag, it's going to be such a mission that I didn't just check it in and pay the extra $75 because at the end of the day, it's not going to make or break me. So for miscellaneous stuff like that, I spent a total of... So for miscellaneous, it was just that $75, which comes out to just $250 a day. So again, not really that much, but I did want to include it in there because it is something that I spent on this trip that again, I wasn't expecting. And I'll put the pie chart up here right now. You guys can take a look at it. That divides to food taking 47% of my budget for the month, hotels being 31%, activities being 15%, miscellaneous being 3%, and travel being 4%, which I think is kind of what you would expect. Obviously, food's always gonna be the most, then hotel, then activities, and then there's just the other little random things. I do think we have been spending a decent amount of money in the countries that we've been to. We've kind of been in the more expensive places on this half of the trip. So we did go to Paris, Switzerland, which is known for being very, very expensive. Then Belgium has been pretty expensive. So there's been quite a few places that are very, very expensive. Um, so I think that adds into it, but again, I'm keeping within my estimated budget, which is very, very good. And I hope that this kind of gives you guys an idea of how much you will actually spend because obviously an estimated budget and the real thing can sometimes be very, very, very different. And keep in mind, there are also going to be days that you think you're spending so much more than your budget and you might be stretched out, but keep stressed out but keep in mind that there are going to be days that you don't spend barely barely anything like travel days for example we don't eat at fancy or nice restaurants and we're just sitting on a train all day that we already paid for so those days and the free tours and everything like that will kind of balance everything out if you do have any questions about my budget further in detail or anything like that or you'd like to see the specific breakdowns of anything even further into like the type of food or whatever you can just let me know down in the comments below i hope this video helps you if you are planning on traveling to europe i hope it doesn't scare you because i really think more people should get out there and see the world because so far guys this has been one of the greatest experiences of my entire life and i'm not just saying that i actually swear it has been so get out there see the world and i hope this video helped you leave a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe we're so close to a thousand guys i really 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 want to get there before I leave Europe and I'll see you on my next video which will probably be a Belgium vlog.